you're building a simple web app. A user can sign up, log in, do some stuff, and log off. Nothing fancy. Right now, you're working on the sign up form. When a user chooses their password, you need to validate it on the back end against your company's requirements. It must be at least a certain length. It must not exceed a maximum length. It must contain certain types of characters. It must avoid other disallowed characters. It must avoid repeating or sequential characters, etc., etc. Since you're doing TDD BDD, you need tests for all these cases. Too few characters? That's a case. Too many characters, another case. Empty string starts with a space, non-UTF-8 characters, non-ASCII, etc. Case after case after case. And a good portion of your effort is spent flushing out what we call boundary conditions. That is, testing what happens just short of a numerical or conceptual threshold. Testing what happens exactly at that threshold, and then testing what happens just past it. These boundary conditions are where a lot of software tends to break. So many testing tools allow you to focus on something called boundary value analysis. That is methodically and rigorously testing the edges of your input space. That's great, but here's the problem. As systems grow more complex, identifying and testing the boundaries becomes non-trivial. For example, the threshold for approving someone for a loan isn't checking the value of one variable. It's checking the interplay between dozens of them. There's no approval line. There's a multi-dimensional surface. So manually identifying the boundaries between approved and denied is hard. And writing tests for that threshold becomes very complex. And that's where this paper comes in. In it, the authors are trying to teach machine learning models to automatically find and test these boundary regions. Their system combines neural networks with Monte Carlo sampling to generate test inputs that are more likely to expose bugs than traditional approaches would. On today's episode of Journal Club, we'll walk through how they train their models to recognize when inputs cross boundaries, how they sampled test inputs from boundary-rich regions, and how they automatically generated training data using code coverage tools. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, you'll be getting this full episode in text, audio, and video form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.